Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the Tarot Empress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications bell. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at the Tarot Empress.com. Okay, so Virgo, the first card that I see is indicating to me a time in which you're trying to heal from pain that you've been experiencing in a relationship. So this particular card is giving me the impression that you went through a difficult situation with this person concerned. Let's clarify this energy. Usually when this card is in upright position, it talks about a difficult situation, two individuals that have had a hard time in their love life, unable to cope with certain things that have been going on. Perhaps the two of you were hurting each other. Doesn't have to be intentional causing that sort of pain, right? So I'm seeing from the card that there is this loving situation, right? Perhaps the two of you, you know, we're getting to know each other, flirting with each other. It's that energy where you have this enthusiasm to explore your emotions. It also talks about daydreaming about each other, communicating, texting, or meeting up with each other. And just in that beginning stages of love and um this is the first energy to come up. But I also feel like the card that is challenging that love, which might have been very innocent, is an energy that is talking about um, an inability to follow one's heart. So someone was holding back when it comes to following their heart, following the uh, passions inside of their soul. You know, Sometimes when people are getting to know another person, they don't uh, fully give their 100%. They are afraid of uh, falling in love or afraid of uh, being vulnerable in a situation. It happens, right? So I do feel like on that basis itself, it's showing to me that one individual wasn't fully investing in this. Now, the next card that I'm looking at is showing to me that in this situation, there might have been a lack of a solid ground, a lack of stability, okay? I feel like since it's connected to this card of trying to heal from something that happened, there's also this other energy coming into the picture of wanting to go back to the past when the two of you were just getting to know each other and everything was so innocent, wonderful and beautiful, you know? So I feel like it's, Dating back to a much longer time in terms of the period because we have this energy of a pain and trying to heal from it. We also have this energy of, you know, two people getting to know each other but one individual holding back a bit and not having a solid footing. So the foundation of this relationship or what was uh, becoming a relationship wasn't built on, you know, a rock solid foundation. But there's also this desire since there is this process of healing which is ongoing to return back to a time which was uh, when the two of you were getting to know each other and fall in love with each other right so i see that the past 
someone was keeping a lot of secrets or keeping things hidden or maybe they were secretly afraid of what could happen as i mentioned before afraid of being vulnerable afraid of being loved afraid of this uh, you know beautiful energy going towards the future i see that there's a lot of confusion here so because these energies are coming to surface i feel like there's a lot of confusion regarding what is truly happening here So the cards are showing that in respect of healing, in respect of forgiving and letting go of regrets, there's a lot of progress that is being made in this situation. So that's a good thing, right? It's actually a very positive sort of energy that's coming up in the cards. And I feel like the two of you might be straightening up in terms of what happened, why it happened and the effect that it had upon your life and their lives. Now let's look at the card that is in the overall theme position. I feel like the card in the overall theme position, there's so many codes related to this energy. It talks about, you know, sometimes when things don't work out like the way you wanted it to work out, it's a good thing, you know. Sometimes not getting what you want is a stroke of luck, something like that, right? So let's see. I feel like things didn't go according to plan. And judging from the energies, you know, what I'm sensing is that there was a lack of change that was occurring. There's two energies coming into play here. One is feeling like there was so much time invested into the situation and there's a fear that all of that was for nothing, right? And then there's this other energy where I'm picking up uh, someone wanting to keep fighting for this relationship and not giving up on the relationship, even though one individual feels like, oh, this was a waste of my time. The other person could be feeling like, no, there's still something there. You know, I can't just walk away from this, right? So the big fear in this situation is that things might be over for good and we see your energy coming into play, but there could also, um, you know, be talking about the fact that there is, not much that's being spoken about right now like the two of you are keeping a lot of things inside so when it comes to the things that you planned for i feel like they didn't go according to plan but there's a reason for that okay the outcome card is indicating to me that um, even though a cycle hasn't completely ended right now a cycle of pain or a cycle of what the two of you were going through it's almost at its point of completion, right? This doesn't mean that this individual is going to um, disappear from your life, but it means that some sort of blockage is in the process of getting eliminated, some sort of uh, challenge that has been, um, you know, staring you in the face and this individual in the face for the longest time is in the process of uh, just not being there anymore, okay? So I do feel like things are going to change in that sense, which is a good thing. But this change is not going to come overnight. It's going to be a slow sort of change that will come about eventually. Someone is afraid of this change. That's what I'm getting. There's a fear of change, a very intense fear of change. It's uh, probably due to the fact that there is the unknown, the unknown element that comes along with change, right? What I'm sensing from the cards is there's this uh, need to let go of things that have disappointed you and disappointed this individual because it's serving... Um, no purpose at this point of time to hold on to those sort of energies, which is very interesting. And I'm also sensing from the cards that someone wants to be honest about their feelings, about what they're really going through. So this could be a revelation or potentially a confession. And we see that there's an urge, there's a desire for that. But then if we look at this card, which is in reverse, it's showing to me there's a hesitation to fully give in to that, right? There's a hesitation to 
um, move beyond this present challenge that has been facing you, facing this individual. So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. You can find the link in the description box below. And if you want a person reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. For those of you that are unaware, there are yearly tarot card readings available. There's also speciality readings um, that are in the description box below. You can find the links. Have a wonderful day and take care.